Shalom brothers and sisters. So if you haven't seen it trending as a story, I really hope you haven't seen the actual video, but uh, yeah, not worth it. The satanic pop star Doja Cat's new song Demons, right, apt for the times we're living in, backfires and turns thousands to God. How hilarious is that? How in the devil's face is God just mocking him? Satanic pop star Doja Cat's new song Demon suffered an enormous backlash amongst young listeners, turning many back to God due to its overtly perverse and demonic lyrics and imagery. The gruesomeness of the lyrics and the satanic imagery proved too much for some viewers, with many rushing to their Bibles and fleeing to God. I wish the rest of the world would follow suit. It would be insulting to describe Doja Cat as an artist, as real art does not sink so distastefully low. However, one good thing about the video is it is thrusting people back towards Christ. How amazing is that? That in itself is a testimony. It's incredible. <laughs> and you know what? I forced myself to sit through this pathetic excuse of a video. It is basically a haunted house video happening and the demon crawling along the roof and then down the wall and then onto the bed while the person's lying there in sleep paralysis and then it's all about this demon controlling this person sick twisted evil darkness pretty much what lies ahead under a rule of satan and even the world that's watching this that weren't dedicated are going wait a minute that doesn't look cool that doesn't look like something I want to try. So, way to go, loser fur. This one backfired in a big way, and I think it is epic. God bless. Keep looking up. We'll take our battles one everywhere we get them. Shalom.